Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders, and in this video we are introducing our very first weekly challenge to you coders within our community. I posted a video yesterday hinting at some upcoming news for both our channel and our community, and in this video both Darren and I are going to give you some more information on what that looks like. Of course we will be introducing a few more updates throughout this week and several upcoming weeks, but this update is a big one. We are launching our weekly challenge series to create a greater bond with our community and so that you coders have a chance to put your skills to the test. For this first month, we are going to have four weekly challenges, each with a weekly winner. And at the end of the month, we will announce our monthly winner, who will receive a physical reward from Renaissance Coders. Depending on the number of submissions that we receive, we may announce a weekly winner and several runners-up to the weekly challenge. We will of course showcase the weekly winners project here on our channel, giving the winner the recognition that he or she deserves. We definitely want everyone to participate in this weekly challenge series. We are really excited about this update to our channel and we hope that you, our loyal community, is as well. Now I'm going to hand things off to Darren who has some more information about this week's challenge. Hey everybody, Darren here with Renaissance Coders. Today we are kicking off a new community challenge series. This series will take the best project from you guys and the winner will be rewarded with a physical prize that we will announce a little bit later in the month. So we have a couple rules for this competition. Only subscribers will be considered and only submissions before 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday will be considered. We also have a couple of constraints for the type of project that you can submit. I'll go ahead and list the hierarchy and project file requirements in the description. So each week we're going to consider all submission projects and score them based on appearances, gameplay, and technicality. Scores for each submitter will accumulate throughout the month, and at the end of the month we'll announce the member with the highest score. Okay, so now I want to tell you how you can submit your project to us to be considered for the competition. Uh, if you don't already have a username for GitHub, you'll go to github.com. It'll bring you to this page to create an account. It's really easy and it's free. Once you do that, you'll click the link that we have in the description or in the pinned comment on this video. That will be a repository for this uh, challenge that Jared created for us. So this is what it'll look like. Now, once you sign in, you can click fork and I'll go ahead and sign in to my account. And now I'll click fork again. And now we can see uh, after it finishes loading, we have up here at the top, my username slash weekly challenge 6317. So it's created a version of the repository for me locally. And you can see here uh, that we have our project files. We have a couple test submissions uh, in here already. So what we wanna do is take our project folder, which for us is right here. And the format that we're going to ask you to use is your username and then submission. So this is my, uh, my Unity project, and all we need to do is send this to a compressed zip folder format. And then what I'll do is come back into GitHub, and I'll say upload files. Uh, and then I'll just drag those in. So I'll drag in the zip version. It'll ask you to create a commit. So that is going to this will be the title of our commit and this will be the uh, description don't worry about creating a description just add your username and submission so this is what uh, this username is going to be like your YouTube username so that'll make you more identifiable for us uh, so once you do that you can say commit changes and that'll take a minute to process now we can see in my local copy, I have username submission.zip. That's going to be my Unity project. Uh, once I do that, I, I click new pull request. That's going to give Jared and I the opportunity to accept your project into the public uh, repository. So click new pull request. You can see that I have the confirmation that I'm able to merge. There's no conflicts. Uh, so we can click create pull request and I don't have to do anything else. I'll just click pull request again. If you want to leave a comment, you can do that here. Okay. And that's all you need to do to submit your project. So we're really looking forward to seeing what you all come up with. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. 
But otherwise, have a great day, and I'll see you all next week.